Hi everyone, welcome back to another great interview series. Today I have the privilege to interview for the third time Dave Ulrich. Hi Dave, how are you doing? Meher, it's great to be with you today. Uh, you look great and uh, it's you. fun to be engaged with you. Yeah, thank you. For those of you who don't know Dave, so I'll do a brief introduction. Dave is a university professor, author, speaker, management coach and management consultant. Dave is a professor of business at the Rose School of Business, University of Michigan, and co-founder of the RBL Group. He was ranked as the, one of the top management educator and guru by Business Week, and selected by the Fast Company as one of the top most innovative and creative leaders. And I also can call Dave as the father of modern HR. So Dave, my first question for you is, with all this uh, coronavirus happening with all this ch ch time of change and uncertainty. What tips do you have for people who are started to work from home, which is now the reality, and how they can be productive? Well, first of all, thank you for the gracious introduction. You're very kind. And uh, as always, it's a privilege to uh, connect with you. I, I appreciate your values and your sensitivity and your passion and your competence, which you exude through your uh, your questions and your lifestyle. You know, this crisis, it's amazing. Um, I was teaching a course at the university uh, on Wednesday night, two weeks ago. I walked out, I follow basketball in the United States, and I turned, and my wife had sent me a text that the Utah Jazz, the team I follow, was uh, uh, one of their players was detected with the virus, so they canceled the game. The next day, the season's canceled, and then it just snowballed. It's been two weeks, 17 days. I mean, yes. in 17 days, our world is just twisted upside down. And, and it's unbelievable what we've done. Now, companies have done what they've had to do. Uh, they're in a moment of kind of triage or uh, changing work so that the social distancing forces us to be apart. And so a lot of that means working at home, working virtually. Yes. I don't want to repeat what everybody knows. Find a space. I love your space. I hope you appreciate Welcome to my office. And uh, I think the other interviews we've done, I try not to be on tape. I'm concluding, welcome to being on tape. My hair's not good. My teeth are <laughs> not good. Great. My chins, my chins great. are good. Thank you for having us but, in, your uh, in your living room. In your this is my office. <laughs> and uh, yes. But everybody knows the tips. Find a space, manage time, manage work life, manage your kids, let the phone ring, let the dog bark. Yes. I'm frankly not as interested in that because I think there's tips. What I'm interested in is how does the work that you do, no matter where, when, or how, mm -hmm. create value for our customers? Mm -hmm. So if we say, we want our customer to see our firm as innovative, what am I doing in my remote work that is innovative? If we want our customers to say, I want this firm, I'm doing business with this firm because they collaborate with me. I've got to model that collaboration. And so my interest is less about all those administrative things you'll find. I agree with them. I'm trying to sit in a good chair. I'm trying to sit on my code. I'm trying to get a headset. Got it. To me, that's 101. Hmm. I want to do the graduate work of making sure no matter where, when, or how we work, we do work that creates the right culture hmm. for our key customers. That's a great tip. And what about HR leaders or what can they do to help their employees that are now spread all over and they're doing Zoom meetings and they're all social distance? What can HR leaders do? You know, I, I posted a, a piece on this on LinkedIn a week or so ago and I said, and I posted it before, I think uh, we love to honor first responders. So if there's, a, if there's a fire, the, the firemen who go in or firewomen is the first responder. If there's a, an earthquake, the first responders. Most of first responders get talked about as, uh, as, as when there's a physical crisis and the physical first response. I think there's an emotional first response in this kind of crisis. And I think there's multiple responders. I think business leaders are first responders, obviously. But I think in HR, we are also the first responders on the emotional side. That's our strength, that's our passion. We become partners with business leaders to be the first responders around the emotional trauma that we face. Everywhere I go right now, when I call people who are like me and like you working remotely, uh, especially those who've not done it, I've worked remotely my whole life, they wanna talk. 
how are you doing? And they, and I was on a Zoom call uh, yesterday, actually on Sunday, and uh, there were 12 people on the call and the leader said, so tell me how you're doing. And everybody went four or five minutes talking because they want to feel that emotional connection. Yes. We in HR can be vehicle or can provide metrics or not metrics, we can provide services with mm. business leaders and us to be that emotional first responder. Now, let me go one step further. I think the real challenge in this kind of situation is to do what I call navigate paradox. Mm. On the one hand, I want to be the emotional caregiver. Some people I've posted this got really upset with the term caregiver. That doesn't mean I take over. It doesn't mean, it means I give care emotionally to those employees. On the other hand, I've got to create a competitive organization. I see some people posting and say, oh, in this time of crisis, HR should not worry about business. We should just worry about people. You know, that's not going to work because the best thing you can give an employee is a company that wins in the marketplace. And so this challenge of navigating paradox between caring for the individual and simultaneously creating a competitive organization that's where HR leaders can become very, very, almost like artists, because yeah. there's, not a, there's not a recipe. Give me the three steps. How do I navigate in that paradoxical world? Thank you for sharing that, Dave. And I believe uh, HR leaders or companies, are, they are doing their best to this new reality that they were not prepared to do, and they're doing their best. And uh, for the audience watching for the first time, I'll ask Dave a series of questions and it will be posted on a daily basis. So you can be like a journey with us every day. You can watch us and see what we have to say to you. And if you like, please like and share so that everyone else can uh, watch and hear. So Dave, I'll reach out to you tomorrow.